early favorite. Pitch Perfect sequel? They're back. Coming soon. Ratless breaks it down. Hey guys, welcome back to Clever Feed. It's Thursday and it's a special clip show. It is. I'm Jocelyn Davis with Dana Ward and let's get this party started. And our first clip of the day has to do with the fact that we've got our eye on a new contestant for the X Factor USA. He's gonna be a star. 14 year old Josh Levi was on last night's show and what song did he choose for his audition? He has to surprise the judges with his selection. So I'm surprising you right now. This is awesome, check it out. Say, say, hey. You ain't gotta worry, it's an open invitation. Oh, I'll be sitting right here real patient. All day, all night, I'll be waiting to him by. Can't stop because I love it. Hey, the way I love you all day. Say, when you're ready, come and get it. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, 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 when you're ready, yeah. When you're ready, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. When you're ready, come and get it. Nah, 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 nah. He took on Selena Gomez's Come and Get It, and Josh straight up rocked it. The judges loved it. Demi said that she was impressed and that he's a true artist. Kelly called him a star, and Simon said he turned the song into his own cool version. So we're keeping our eye on Josh, and if you are too, be sure to tune in to The X Factor on Fox Wednesdays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. What's going on with the Pitch Perfect sequel? Is it happening? Is it not happening? Is the cast even coming back? Our clever crew just caught up with the gorgeous, sweet, and talented Britney Snow to find out what in the world is going on with the sequel we just can't live without. And I need to know your thoughts on this sequel. Do you know anything? You know, weirdly enough, we, we don't know anything. And it's one of those things where I think everyone's really hopeful for the sequel, especially because we got along all so well. And it was the most fun that a lot of us had had doing movie just because we bonded so much. Um, so we're looking forward to a sequel just to hang out again, I think. But, you know, it's one of those things where uh, it might happen, it might not. I would like to know any inside scoop as well. So if you guys got any scoop, then let me know. It's so anticipated that I think it's really taking its time to, like, form and, you know. Absolutely. I just hope I'm in it. Maybe we go international. I don't know. <laughs> Anna the Kendrick. Barton Bellas go international. Yeah, kind of overseas. Um, Anna Kendrick actually had a, you know, a suggestion that we are the troops that get called in, so we have to like whip them into shape because they're gonna do another competition. I don't know. We've just I been like, like anything could happen. Who knows? This just has to happen. We are totally aka serious here. I mean, can you imagine the Barton Bellas on a Euro trip? Pure movie gold. I'm so excited because Sophia Grace and Rosie are back on Sam and Cat. The name of this episode is hashtag Revenge of the Brit Brats. And it looks like they've got a plan to cause a little rift between the two lovely babysitters. Of course, the con artists are pretending to be all friendly and sweet. They even bring gifts for the girls. Just go ahead, take a peek at this week's episode. Can you please fetch Cat? We bought her bibble. And we also brought you a gift. Oh. What did you, uh, <laughs> think of to bring for old Sam? <laughs> so you brought me... This. Uh, uh, a motorcycle helmet? Yes. <sighs> and it vibrates. Vibrates? Push the little nubbin on the side. Oh, cat, cat, come here, feel my head. Ah. Oh, my Brady. And we also got you this. A toilet plunger? A special British toilet plunger. We call them shove muckers. We need a shove market. So I've got a feeling that the plan might work, but only for so long because Sam and Cat are BFFs and that's how it works. To the end in our book. Tune in to Nickelodeon on Saturday, September 21st at 8 p.m. to catch all the action for yourselves. So I don't know if you've heard, Dana, but I'm a B-girl now. Oh, really? 
prove it. Oh, uh, well, check out this clip and you'll see why. Yeah, check it out. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, yeah. double. Okay. Yeah. Can I do anything I want? Step around, around, turn and breathe. Good. I feel really good about it. Jazz yeah. hands. Yeah. Step, step, turn, game face. Mugsy. One, six, seven, clap. We got one, two, three, four. Ooh. Step, step, step. This is turn. my solo. Hey. That was horrible, you guys. I mean, that's why you're in the center. Yeah. That, that's why I'm the soloist. Okay, so truth be told, I'm actually horrible. That was amazing. No, I'm I was terrible at b-boying or b-girling, but it was really fun. It looked really fun. I'm kind of sad that I couldn't make it to be with you. <laughs> you can be with me. We can b-girl anytime. Yes, but that clip was just all in the name of getting viewers excited about Battle of the Year. It actually is out tomorrow, so click the link in the info section below. If you want to check out an exclusive trailer, you're only going to see on Clover TV. Click it, click it, and dance. All right, guys, it is time for Hit Us Up, and look who's here. What's up, guys? We have a guest in the studio. This is so fun. We have Ratliff from R5. I'm so excited. I know. You can barely talk. Are you excited? Talk. I, I can I barely talk. I can't even. I can't get words make out. I'm sentences so excited. Anymore. So the album is dropping, mm -hmm. finally, on September. 20. Or, guys, it's louder, things are about to get crazy, and you're here to answer some questions from the fans. I think I'm ready. I think I can do it. You feeling ready? Okay. I'm ready. First question comes from at Kira, R5, an obvious fan. I Probably. Think she, she, I think she knows us. Uh huh. She hey, says Kira. this. How do you decide who you're giving your drumsticks to? This is a big question. That is very important, and um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lengthy process. I, uh, I scan the crowd. And then whoever's gives me the, you know, give whoever's partying the most. Okay. You know, Just a like lot of hands. A lot of hands, maybe some dance moves. Okay. The row the boat I like is a this. good one. This that's always good. a crowd favorite. Okay. Um, the swimmer. That's good. Uh, yeah, so like whoever's doing the, the dorkiest dance moves, I'm like you. Nerds rule the world, so I'm Obviously. a big fan and of I, this. And I'm I am one, so it's like I gotta give it to my peeps. High fives on that. Yeah. Okay, next question comes from at Lauren. W5178618. That is a long one. I think she just gave you her phone I, number yeah. too. Um, she wants to know what would you be doing if you were not in R5? Like right now. Right where now? Where would Ratliff be? Where would I be? Just flipping burgers, man. Just in a, in a little Mickey D's prop. Okay. No, I actually, I actually don't know. I actually, I love food, to be honest. Okay. So maybe something in like the culinary arts. You know? I like that. What's your specialty dish? Ooh, um. See, I like sautéing things. I'm really good with the with the flip. That is a you, very interesting yeah, you, answer. Yeah, you, you pretty much you just put a bunch of vegetables in a little little pot, and then you like put a bunch of stuff in, like soy sauce and what have you. Pretty much just take like things in your fridge, and then you and then you do the flip. Well, thanks for doing hit us up. Thank you for having Can me. Can we get a double high five? Whoa! Whoa! And that is it for today's clever feed. It was so much fun doing this very special. Lip show. We had a blast, did so you guys? Fun. We want to hear from you, so as usual, hit us up in the yeah. comment section. You might be featured on the show. It's so true, and thanks for coming back to the show every day, Monday through Friday. We'll see you tomorrow. It's Friday! Yeah!